Hi. Today, the OP320 operator panel will be configured to monitor and control the LT PLC. The circuit connection from the last video will now include an additional indicator lamp. Let us pull up the same program and insert three rungs. Add a branch to the first rung and a contact to each branch with variable bits S.1 and B.1. Add a flip on rising instruction to the rung with variable B.2. Add a contact and an SPWM to the second rung. Assign B.2 to the contact and P.1 to the SPWM. Set the SPWM on to 2 and the off to 2 with the time base remaining at 1000 milliseconds. Add a contact and a coil to the third rung. Assign P.1.ST to the contact and arrow.2 to the coil. Then upload the codes to the PLC with the settings of Nano V5, the port number, a baud rate of 115200, and mode bus address of 1. The OP320 operator panel can monitor and control a PLC with buttons, text, and indicators. It has a monochrome display for showing text, symbols, and pictures, and buttons for navigation and control. The download slash com port is connected to a PC serial port using a DB9 serial cable, or the USB port using the USB MD204 cable to download the configuration. See the link in the description. The same port also communicates with the PLC. It requires a 24V DC power supply to operate. Connect the USB MD204 cable to the OP320 and your PC USB port. Note that it uses the same CH340 device driver as the Nano. Download and install the OP20V8.0Q Editor 2 from the link in the description. This software version is suitable for the OP320-A-S model that supports ROS485 connection. Click on the new project icon. Select model OP320-S-A and click OK. Select the PLC type of Modbus ROTU OP is master. Click on settings. Select the baud rate of 115200 and non-parity. Then click OK and OK. Select COM port from the file menu and select your COM port. Impute the screen attribute description of analog. To add labels, click on the text icon on the right and place it by the right of the screen. Change the message to temperature. Add two more text with messages of high set points and low set points. Click on register icon on the right and place it by temperature. Ensure that the PLC station corresponding to the mode bus address is 1. The register ID is 4x0 corresponding to I.1 on the LC PLC, and change the display digits to 3. Add another register and set its ID to 4x1. Select the set to enable changing of the set point value. Select limited and change upper to 150. Then change the display digits to 3. Add a third register with an ID of 4x2 and the same settings as the previous register. Add a text here with the message DIXI. For digital indication, click on the lamp icon and place it here. Ensure that the PLC station is 1 and the coil ID is 0x0.
which corresponds to arrow dot one in the alt plc add a text beside the lamp with the message arrow dot one finally on this screen place the function key icon here change the key to right key select screen jump and set the screen number to two this will enable navigation to the next screen now Click on the new screen icon from the tools bar at the top. Give it the description, digital. Add the left key function. Select screen jump and ensure that the screen number is one. This will enable navigation to the previous screen. To start and stop the flashing of the indicator lamp on the PLC, add a function key and select one key. Ensure that the PLC station is 1 and set the coil ID to 0x128 which corresponds to B.1 in the LT PLC. Select Momentary On. Now, add a lamp with a mode bus address of 0x129 and label it B.2. Add another lamp with a mode bus address of 0x1 and label it arrow.2. Then click on the download icon to download the configuration to the panel. When the download is complete, the register's value and the lamp will not appear on the screen until the panel is connected to the PLC. Now connect terminal B of the TTL to ROS485 model to pin 8 of the panel DB9 connector and terminal A to pin 9. Observe that the temperature value, the set point and the lamp now appears on the screen. To change the set points, press the set button and impute the required set point for the high set point. Then press the enter button. Change the low set point and press enter. Press the right function key to navigate to the next screen. Press key 1 to start the flashing of the indicator lamp. And again to stop it. Press the left function key to navigate back to the previous screen. Thanks for watching. If this video is helpful, please leave a comment below. Do give a thumbs up and click on the subscribe button if you are yet to. See you in the next video.